What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance here, and I know I assume I probably seemed like I was happy earlier. Well, I was until a little bit ago. And I'll explain why. But I do have something that I do want to talk about, and that's that is the verbal abuse I've been facing from record labels. And some of you guys might be thinking, you know, why am I talking about this? Well, this is something that needs to be talked about. Earlier today, I was doing really good. But then I went to check my email because I seen I had some emails. Well, I got a bunch of rejection letters from labels. And they're not just rejection letters. They were some of the worst. Saying that I'm not good enough. That I need to look a certain way. That I'll never make it because of how I do stuff. And this is stuff I've been dealing with for since I started doing music. But honestly, it's gotten to be too much. And I know what you guys are thinking. Why am I sitting here bitching about it when I can do something about it? You know, I've tried doing something about it, but what can I do? What can I fucking do? I have no money. I can't fucking fight these guys. And for all you motherfuckers out there on these labels that are ripping on me, I'm tired of your fucking abuse. The way you guys have been doing this shit is fucked up. Like, you don't even know how not only upsetting it is, but how fucked up it is. Like, I don't get why you guys feel you have to, you know, single me out. Like, why me? I'm sick of the fucking verbal abuse from you motherfucking labels. I'm sorry, guys. I really am trying to hold it together. I know I sound like I want to break down, but... It's probably because I do. Because I'm sick of the fucking verbal abuse that these labels are putting me through. And this is an everyday occurrence, and I'm fucking sick of it. Every fucking day I go through verbal abuse from these guys. And I'm about fucking at it. You know? I have so many people telling me I need to be signed. I need to be signed. And they're right. I need to be getting paid for my music. But how can I when these paying labels just want to constantly verbally abuse me and not let me get anywhere? Not a single one of them will give me a chance. And I email 40 to 50 labels a fucking day by mass email. And all I give back in return is nothing but you're not good enough. You're too ugly. You'll never make it. Or the all too common, you need to change your sound and be what we want you to be. I'm sorry, but I'm not changing who I am for anybody. 
if you can't accept me in my music the way that I am and the way that I do my music, then fuck you. I'm an artist. I'm not somebody you can just fucking use as a goddamn punching bag. I'm fucking tired of the freaking verbal abuse that you guys put me through every goddamn day. And I know what you guys are thinking. I'm not standing up and doing something. I'm sitting here bitching about it. Well, that's where you're wrong. Every fucking day I get up, I stand up and I do something about it. But every day this continues. Every day I keep getting put down and I'm getting fucking tired of it. And you guys wonder why half the time I want to quit? This is exactly why. I'm tired of the verbal abuse. All I want, all I've ever wanted, was to make music and to get paid for my music so I can show people like myself that you can do anything you want to do with your life if you bust your ass hard enough to do it. Because there's a lot of people out there like myself that are really good with music that deserve a chance. And I want to be the person that paves that way for them. I want to be that person that paves the way for people with special needs who deserve a chance in music, who are damn good at what they do. But yeah, you motherfuckers pass us by like we don't even fucking matter every damn day. You know, there's a lot of talented people out there like myself who deserve a chance. And for you to fucking do this, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what did me or anybody like me ever do to you guys? So you might not realize it, but we're just like everybody else. You give everybody else a fair chance. But yet, you won't give a person with special needs who's smart enough to do what they do, who's talented enough, like I am, to make it and to hold their own in the music industry. Because let me tell you something, I have no manager. I have no agent. I have nothing. All I have is myself, which is what I've been doing since day one. Would I like to be an independent artist? I would love to have that happen, but there's one problem. No distribution site will accept my music for whatever fucking reason, and I've tried. There's always something wrong with it. Like, I am honestly tired of the fucking mental abuse that you fucking record labels put me through every goddamn day. You guys don't understand just how fucking hard I work. Not just producing my music, but defending my work against fucking haters, against people that want to steal from me. And why they want to steal from me, I don't understand. So yeah, I'm trying to do something about it, but it's you motherfuckers that keep on tearing me down. And I'm fucking tired of it. You just, you don't understand how hard I work every damn day. Busting my ass every fucking day. Putting every ounce of what I have into my music. But yet every fucking day, all you record labels say, I'm not good enough. I'll never amount to anything. Or I need to find another career because I look different. And nobody will accept me. Well, you know what? You're wrong. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there who enjoy my music and are questioning you guys. They're not questioning me. They're questioning you. And every time I tell them the honest to God truth, which you guys don't want me releasing. And that's because of the fact, the reason you won't sign me. The reason you won't fucking sign me is because you're afraid of somebody with special needs like myself coming along 
and changing the music industry for the better and fucking you guys over just like you fuck people like me over every damn day. I know your fucking games. I'm not stupid. You see, I want to be that first kid that special needs, that paves the way for music artists like myself with special needs who deserve a chance. You don't know how many fucking music artists I know that are special needs, but they're damn good at what they do. They're damn good. They're some of the best I've honestly ever seen in my entire life. But yet, what do you do? You pass us by like we don't even fucking matter. Like we're not human, like everybody else. You treat us like we're garbage, like we're nothing. And where's that fair? Where's that motherfucking fair? I've shown people the proof every fucking time. I've shown people what you guys say to me. And what you email me every fucking day when you guys decline my work. You sit there and say that you accept everybody. No, the fuck you don't. That's a lie. You don't accept people with special needs. Because you don't think like somebody like myself with special needs can be successful. I'm tired of the motherfucking mental abuse. I've gone through it for 10 plus fucking years because of you sons of bitches. And I'm tired of it. And I know every other artist out there like myself is tired of it too. We don't deserve this. We deserve a fair shot. We deserve to be treated like humans. Not like some fucking piece of shit that don't matter. Because you know the truth be told? We do matter. We're human. Just like you and everybody else on your fucking labels. Like I said, I don't want to change the music industry entirely. I just want to be able to open doors for people like myself who have special needs, who are very, very, very talented at what they do, who deserve a fair chance, who don't deserve to be bashed on by fucking hypocritic assholes like you guys. Like, you don't know how many fucking waking hours I spend just writing and recording and going over songs over and over and over and over again. And then, like I said, am I nervous getting up on that stage on June 21st at 8 p.m.? I'm scared shitless, but you know what? I'm doing this for people like myself. Even though it's not a paying show, I'm doing this to try to open doors for people like myself. To shut motherfuckers like you goddamn labels up. So you know what? Your guys' opinions about me, you guys can take that fucking shit and shove it up your goddamn ass. Because I'm tired of taking the mental abuse. You know, tired of what you guys say about me and every other artist that special needs. I'm tired of it. I will not stand for it anymore. Yeah, I might not be able to do anything to stop you because I'm special needs and because I don't have any money. But you know what? You will never stop me from doing my music. You will never stop me from gaining fans. Because you know what? I have some of the best goddamn fans in the fucking world. And I appreciate every single motherfucking one of them to the fullest. Every day I talk to a fan, every day I sit down and I hang out with my fans. And you want to know the one thing I appreciate most about them? It's not that they tell me that my stuff's good. It's that I'm able to be myself around my fans. I'm able to be real with my fans. Unlike your fucking fake ass artists who have to pretend. All your fucking artists, they have to pretend to be somebody that they're not. Well, you know what? That ain't me. I'm not going to sit there and pretend to be somebody that I'm not. Because my fans are like a second family to me. I don't lie to my family. I don't lie to my friends. 
I'm not like you greedy fucking hypocritical bastards. I don't fucking lie. I don't fucking sell out or cheat my fans out of anything. Yeah, I might forget to do stuff that I say I'm going to do sometimes, but I'm only human. We all forget. Do I believe there needs to be a change in the music industry? Yes, I do. And that changes. You guys need to stop ripping your artists off and start opening doors for people like myself and being fair. You need to start being fair to people like myself and give people like me a shot. And if we don't have money, try to work out a deal with us. You know, sign us and bring us on and help us get to where we can make money so we can pay you. That's what you need to do. But you guys sit there back in your fucking chairs probably laughing your asses off right now at me. As you guys are probably watching this. But do I really give a shit? No. You guys can laugh all you want. I don't care. You guys can make fun of me. You can fucking tell me I'm not going to go anywhere. Hell, you guys can keep me from getting signed to your fucking labels. But the one thing you can never touch, the one thing you can never ever take away from me are my fans and my respect that I have for my fans and the respect they have for me. That is the one thing you can never take from me. And if you want to get technical, there's two things. And the second being, you cannot stop me from spreading word about what you guys really do and how you guys work to the rest of the world and showing them the truth and exposing you motherfuckers for what you do. I know I might look different. I know I might be short for my age. How I may even live at home with moms who can't do much. But you know what? I still bust my ass every day. And you know what? She supports me in what I do. My family, my friends, everybody supports what I do. And honestly, I've had the privilege to work with some really amazing people. I've gotten to work with legendary and late underground artist Kota Oda who is one of the biggest fucking underground names in the industry, who not only was one of the few people I actually enjoyed working with, but he was also one of my best friends outside of music. That man was a very dear friend to me, and do you have any idea what he'd be saying if he were here right now? He'd be telling you guys to fuck off and to sign me right the fuck now, and you guys know it. Because he saw the talent in me. He saw what I could be. And he pushed me to do what I'm doing. He pushed me every fucking day. To excel. To keep pushing. To keep trying. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Every fucking day. How disgusted do you think. That some of the best artists that were very real. Who didn't have to hide who they were. How do you. How disgusted of you guys do you think they would be right now? Because I can tell you how Chester would be right now. I can already tell you right now, Chester Bennington, he would be beyond disgusted with every single one of you. Because he believed in making music to save lives. He believed in helping people through his music. That's what he did. He saved my life and many other lives in the process. So if you guys can give somebody like those people a chance, why can't you give somebody like me who wants the same thing a fair chance? Why can't you give somebody like me who wants to change music for the better? Who wants to help people through his music? Who wants to open doors for people? That's all I want to do is to open doors for artists like myself. I want to be the first successful 
special needs music artist. And I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, he's special needs. He's retarded. No, it's beyond that. I'm not retarded at all. Hell, if you, I can tell you with my eyes closed about how to structure a damn good beat from the ground up. I can tell you how to record something properly. I might not be able to read notes, and I get that. I've never been good with reading sheet music. Never have been into that. I always do my music by sound. And a little known fact for you. How do you think Sully Erna from Godsmack does his music? He doesn't play by note. He plays by sound. And he's one of the biggest fucking vocalists in the goddamn world. Hell, his uncle was a famous violinist. Or still is. I don't know. I don't know if he's retired or if he's still doing it. But. There's lots of music artists out there. That look different. Who have been very successful. So if they can do it and you gave them a chance. Why won't you give somebody like me a fair chance who deserves it as well? That's what I don't understand. Why do you feel the need to fucking verbally abuse me and tell me all these fucked up things every goddamn day? That's what I don't understand. Like, why? Why me? Why now? I just, I don't understand it. All I'm trying to do is make a living doing what I love, creating music. And open doors for people that deserve it. That's all I want. That's all I've ever fucking wanted. So, you know, maybe if you guys would shut your fucking mouths and open your goddamn eyes and hearts, maybe you'll see there's more talent out there like myself than you guys are fucking aware of. Like, there's talent through the roofs. There's talent through the roof out in the world that you guys are passing by. One of them being one of my best friends from the underground. Michelle Richardson, a.k.a. Scully. One of the best fucking female rappers and singers I fucking know. Number two, Ian Duxworth, a.k.a. Bratley, a.k.a. Alien Ion, or more commonly known on YouTube as ID Slim 12. There's a lot of people out there that deserve a chance. But yet you just pass us by like we don't mean a goddamn thing. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of sitting here just taking this mental abuse from you sons of bitches. I really am. It needs to stop. You guys need to shut your fucking mouths. And take a step back and maybe then you'll realize there's a lot more talent out there than you fucking realize. And you know... I haven't had to rip on you guys in a long fucking time, but you guys are really pushing another fucking diss track. And I don't want it to come to that. I don't want to fight or diss anybody. I'm not that kind of person. It honestly, it sickens me at what you guys do. It really does sicken me. You guys really don't understand the sleepless nights and the long hours that I put into my music every day for the last 10 years. There have been nights where I've gone five, six, ten hours of sleep a week, staying up all night, staying up two, three days in a row, no sleep, busting my ass, doing what I got to do. 
And if that doesn't show hard work, then what does? I'm the kind of artist that will tear down an entire song and rebuild it as many times as I need to just to make it right. And that's the kind of person I am. I'm the kind of person to tear that. If I don't feel it's right, I'll tear it down and redo it and redo it as many times as I need to so I fucking get it right. See, I'm an honest music artist. I don't fucking steal from people. I don't do any of that fucked up shit. All I want to know is why you guys won't give somebody like me who deserves a chance that people are telling you guys to give me a chance to. Why is it that you won't give me a chance? Why do you ignore these people? Maybe you should start listening to them. Start listening to the people that are telling you to give me a chance and those that are telling you that these other artists deserve a chance. Give those people a chance that are being that you guys are being told need to be given a shot. Yeah, I might not have any money, but you want to know something? I'm one of the most hardworking artists you will ever motherfucking see in your goddamn life. You can ask any motherfucker on this live stream, on my Facebook, or all over the web. You can ask any of them. They will tell you the same goddamn thing. I bust my ass day in and day out, day and night, just trying to get a sign. So I can make not only a difference for my family, but for other people like me as well. So why don't you sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up, and open your goddamn eyes. And give somebody like me a fair chance that deserves to be signed. Give us a fair chance. And a fair chance is not making us pay to be signed. Because you guys can take money out of our checks each month to put towards that. So, instead of sitting there and running your goddamn mouths like you guys do, why don't you sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up, and open your eyes and look the hell around and see just how many talented artists like myself that are out there. And give those of us that deserve a chance a fair shot at making it. Because I guarantee you, I'm not going to go away, and neither are they. At the end of the day, we're all human, we're still very real, and we're always going to be here. And I can promise you, until either you guys sign me or you give somebody like me a shot, I will not quit calling you motherfuckers out. Every time I fucking get a fucked up post from you guys, or a fucked up email, or anything... Of that sort. I will fucking screenshot that shit. And blast you motherfuckers. All over Facebook and social media. And believe me. I have enough fucking. Goddamn contacts. And enough motherfucking connections. To where I can put you fuckers to shame. Real fucking quick. So I suggest. You shut the fuck up. Sit the fuck back. And give one of us a chance. Or somebody like myself is going to come along and embarrass the fuck out of you. And that person probably being me. So I suggest if you don't want to get fucking embarrassed by what you're doing. I suggest if you don't want to get embarrassed by you motherfuckers being prejudiced against people like myself. I suggest you humble the fuck up and give people like me a shot. And if you guys did like this, share this around. Spread word to everybody. I want this to go viral as fuck. And I mean, I want this on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook groups, and Facebook group messages on timelines. I want to be tagged in this. I want this to go everywhere, guys. So please, share this the fuck around like crazy. This has been your boy, Shadowblade. And I'm out of here, man. Peace. I love all my fans. I love every single one of you. Let's make a change. Share this around.